Hello agents and welcome to Shadow Gaming. So today we got the daily targeted loot allocation for May 20th, 2020. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Like usual, I'll be doing the three dark zones first, then the Washington DC map, then New York map, and then end it with maybe a few thoughts at the end of the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, definitely click subscribe if you want daily targeted loot allocation updates and turn those bell notifications on. All right guys, Let's go ahead and get this thing started. So the first thing that I did want to mention is this week for the uh, vendor resets, we do have the D50 and it's a gold D50 level 40. That's going to be in the White House vendor. You have to have one of these to craft the Liberty. So if you want to be able to craft the Liberty, you definitely want to buy one of these. I've already bought I think like four or five of them. I would suggest that you do the exact same thing. It's definitely worth it. At the end of the day, you're going to want to get these and I might as well buy a few more. Definitely grab a few more of these because all you have to do for the Liberty is I think it's a Capitol Hill American History Museum, Viewpoint Museum, and then Space Administration HQ. Those four missions is where you get all the pistol mechanisms, the exotic parts for it. You can craft the Liberty, but you have to have a D50 that's a gold D50. It can be a level 30 D50 from all I know, but I, it's only 5,000 E credits, so I would definitely go check that out. My second recommendation would be starting with the Dark Zones. We got Assault Rifles in DZ West. Now, if you guys didn't know already, you got the Rail Splitter as the only named um, Assault Rifle in the Dark Zone. So I would highly recommend going to DZ West today. And I am sorry about yesterday and not being able to do the targeted loot video. Uh, it's rare for me to do that, but I, I do apologize. Yesterday, you probably were in the DZ West getting the Hollow Man mask. And, you know, it was there a few days ago as well. That's when I got it. And I hope you guys were able to get it. But for today, I would definitely get into the DZ West again and try out for that rail splitter. It's a great assault rifle. I would definitely go get it for sure. All right, second off. We want to go with Providence Defense at Federal Emergency Bunker. This is kind of something I always farm for. Um, it's a must have for a DPS build and Federal Emergency Bunker is not that hard of a mission. So you can keep running it over and over and over. I always recommend farming Providence Defense. And then of course the Claws Out Holster in West End is always good to farm for. You can farm for any holster if you want. I mean, these are all subject to what you guys actually want to farm for. I'm just giving you my recommendations. And for right now, I would always recommend the Claws Out Holster. It's the only named holster I can really think of off the top of my head that it's worth getting in the light zone right now. And definitely the only one that I haven't gotten in a long time. I've got it to drop but not in a while. So I would definitely check that out. And it does drop in the light zone. It's not a dark zone exclusive anymore. You don't have to get in the dark zone first. None of that stuff. It, it drops in the dark zone and the light zone. It's universally dropped everywhere and it's much easier to get with the holster as targeted loot. All right, next up we got in, what was it? Oh yeah, bank headquarters. This is like, this is where I would farm today. I'd get the rail splitter first and farm for that for sure. But then second off, I definitely want to farm at the bank headquarters because it can drop the merciless so easily. I mean, first off, it's a hyenas mission. It's targeted loot for rifles and you're at the rebound boss who you could just kill in the first 10 minutes of the mission and then restart it. I mean, you can finish the whole mission if you want. And sometimes I would do that. Sometimes I recommend that. Otherwise I would just go in there every, you know, like eight ten minutes by the time you get the the boss rebound right before you get the chatterbox blueprint just wipe him out and then reset the mission do it in a four-man group or solo just kill him reset and then that's a good way to get the merciless or you know keep resetting the mission or finish it if you want to get a good classic m1a like i've said before i love boomerang and rifleman much more than the baker's dozen but if you're looking for talents on rifles to farm for, that'd be good too. Or if you're just looking for an M1A, Baker's Dozen, MK17, all those good ones, I would definitely, definitely go check that out. I'd also recommend the Potomac Event Center. So at the Potomac Event Center, you got shotguns. It's Black Tusk. It's a good place to drop for the Sweet Dreams. Um, this is actually where I got my Sweet Dreams. This is where I found it for the first time, level 40. It was a couple days after title update eight came out. Uh, well, a couple days after I had finished leveling to 40 and I came back to Washington DC, this is where I got my sweet dreams to drop. So I would definitely check that out as well. You got Petrod Defense Group at Roosevelt Island. 
I always love recommending Petrol Defense Group, especially the contractor's gloves. And even if you have contractor's gloves, you know, you might have a low roll on the weapon damage and like skill haste or something as the third attribute, it could be rainbow colored. So I would definitely farm for a better one or if you don't have one I, I see i still see people on reddit who don't have one i see people that you know just recently got a fox pair's knee pad for the first time and it's rainbow colored so they have to farm for another one which sucks so i would always recommend farming knee pads like at coney island ballpark today i'd, I'd farm that over farming for overlord ornaments which is what fox pair's knee pads um, brand name is I would farm for knee pads over that because in my experience I always get it over the type instead of the brand with the contractor's gloves and the knee pads. So I would definitely check out Roosevelt Island just because you can farm gloves in the West Potomac Park area and I believe there's four control points. Yeah, I would actually check out this area. I'd recommend this over Roosevelt Island looking for the contractor's gloves. And then if you're looking for the pristine example with perfect focus, 60% more damage while aiming down a scope, definitely check out Lincoln Memorial. It's a fast mission, three bosses at the end. Check it out. Also, if you're looking for the Nemesis, you got DARPA Research Labs, it's Black Tusk. It's got targeted loot for marksman rifles. Go check that out as well. If you're looking for a chameleon or just a good assault rifle, DCD headquarters is great and it's a really fast mission to run. It's like, it's a very easy and fast mission to run and the targeted loot for it is ARs, so check it out. Or if you're just looking for exotic components, I would farm really for the chameleon since I, I comment below if you, if you know, um, if you know a build where the chameleon is the primary weapon or even the secondary um it's good for exotic components for right now i would always keep a good rolled one in your stash just in case they buff it later which they definitely could so always keep an eye out for that the other one i would suggest is jefferson trade center i was thinking i've never had it happen but masks is at grand washington hotel and it's hyenas so i was thinking i wonder if the coyote mask drops from here so I'm gonna test that today and see if I can get it to drop here. If I can't, this is the place I would always recommend. And honestly, Coyote is the boss at Jefferson Trade Center. So you can get the Pestilence to drop here, a good light machine gun possibly, and the Coyote's Mask. I mean, you have three great things that can drop from Jefferson Trade Center today. So this is one of my most highly recommended areas to farm for today for sure. So definitely check that out. Uh, really, other than that, you have backpacks at District Union Arena and Viewpoint Museum. And if you guys are doing the Liberty Pistol Hunt today, you know, you're gonna be at Viewpoint Museum. So definitely check these out. There's a lot of named backpacks and the Claws Out holster, I, I believe is still a Wyvern wear holster. So you can always check out the DZ South for um, for the Claws Out holster. Uh, it might drop at a higher drop rate chance in the dark zone, but I have personally got it in the light zone, but it was many title updates ago. I think it might've been title update eight or 8.1 is when I got it to drop but I, I can't promise anything I, I forgot, I'm sorry. Um, other than that, you got gear system mods in DZ East, nothing I truly recommend. And there's a lot of named uh, chest pieces if you wanna go to Manning National Zoo as well, that's all up to you and gear set items in Judiciary Square. There's other stuff here that you can check out as well, but nothing that I, I recommend over everything I just did. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to New York City. So in New York City, we got Golong Gear at Financial District. Fenris Group at Wall Street, Gear System Mods at Liberty Island, Honda U Corporation at Battery Park, Seska SRO at Pathway Park, China Light at Two Bridges, Wyvern Wear at Stranded Tanker, and of course you got Overload Ornaments at Civic Center and Grupo Sombro at the Tombs. This is something I wouldn't recommend over holsters, but if you are looking for the Claws Out holster and the Imperial Dynasty, you, you could possibly get both of them here at Stranded Tanker. The Imperial Dynasty can drop at any time from the boss at the end of Stranded Tanker. A, a great friend of mine, Benman, uh, he dropped me a god rolled Imperial Dynasty. I, I made a post on it from Stranded Tanker. We ran it probably five or six times, finally got it. It, it wasn't even that many times running it. it. It was amazing. But Wyvernware is the Claws Out Holsters brand, so it's possible for it to drop here, but I would recommend farming for holsters over Wyvernware but keep on a lookout for it if you're farming for the Imperial Dynasty as well. Other than that, I have nothing else really to recommend in New York City. You can take a look at the map, whatever you guys are looking for. It, if it's here, you'll see it. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for May 20th Daily Targeted Loot. 
definitely, definitely hit subscribe button. Turn on those bell notifications. I upload daily. Every once in a while, I'll miss one. I apologize for that. Other than that, I wasn't even able to log in yesterday, so I was extremely busy. I apologize for that. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to let you guys go. This has been the Daily Target Loot Allocation for May 20th, 2020. Definitely remember, if you're looking for the Liberty Pistol, you have targeted loot at the White House. But the best, the best thing that I would even do is what I said earlier. Get that D50 at the White House vendor. D50s are rare. It's hard, even if you're farming for pistol targeted loot, it is not easy to get that D50 to drop. And you have to have a gold D50. It can't be a purple one, it has to be a gold one to craft the Liberty. And the Liberty is, I think it's Capitol Hill, American History Museum, Viewpoint, and Space Administration HQ. Those are the four missions where you're, if you do those four in a row, you'll get the Liberty. You'll be able to get it and then use the D50 to craft it at the crafting station. Just remember, you'll need that D50. Anyway, guys, that's my recommendations for today. And I myself will be going for the rail splitter in DZ West. So I'm going to be over there. Anyway, agents, this is Agent Shadow. Please subscribe and like if you enjoy the content. And I will let you guys go. This is Agent Shadow signing off. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.